What is up and welcome to the underground. It is Ned joined by Tony Campos of Static X. Tony, how are you, man? Doing good, man. And I love that right there. Busy time for you doing double duties on the Rise of Machine Tour, both Static X <laughs> and Fear Factory, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that work for you? It, it, it's been a lot of fun, man. I'm having a blast. Nice, man. And I see that a bunch of shows have sold out already, which is great to see. That <coughs> that sort of late 90s, early 2000s sound is still going strong. Yeah, no, it's, 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 the response has been really fucking awesome, man. So <laughs> very happy about that. Uh, awesome, man. Awesome. And uh, I'd like to see, too, that you guys have just got Zero's mask all redone for the Static X side of things. Uh, can you tell us about that and how that came about with Eddie Yang? Um, yeah. I mean, um, you know, when we uh, had to delay the tour yet again, we, we were just like, well, you know, if we, we got to wait, uh, you know, we uh, might as well take the time and do some uh, improvements, you know, and uh, he uh, came across Eddie and, um, you yeah, know, asked him to, for his take on the mask and, um, yeah, he did an awesome job, man. So, you know, it, it sucked we couldn't do the tour when we wanted to, but we made the best out of the time that uh, we had down, you know? Yeah, most definitely. And the question has to be asked, Tony, you're going to be bringing that out on the Australian tour. We're going to get the full zero get up coming out to Australia. Yeah, I think so. I, I think that'll uh, that, that that can make the trip go overseas. <laughs> I think, man, it'd be kind of funny going through customs when you bring out those little gloves and whatnot. It's uh, and the mask. How are you going to go explaining that? Yeah, right. I mean, we'll see. Uh, I mean, we're, we we got to go into Canada uh, in a couple of weeks, so uh, we'll see how the uh, Canadian government <laughs> goes goes through it, and uh, maybe that'll give us an idea. You know. Uh, what, what the Aussie government will think about that. <laughs> <laughs> same old, same old, man. All right, well, on the subject of Fear Factory, Tony, I'm just going to change things up. Milo fitting in well with the band, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. He's doing an awesome job. Yeah, you sort of just seem to be just a kick-back, laid-back sort of guy. Like, I was wondering, did you have much to do with the, the finding of the new vocalist, or was that all uh, Dino? Yeah, no, yeah, that's all Dino, man. I... I, I yeah. I have nothing to do with that, man. That, that uh, you know, I just show up and play bass. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. That's what I'm saying, man. You just seem to be so kicked back, laid back, and just sort of stayed out of all the drama sort of thing, which is which is great to see. Uh, playing double duties. Static X, though, man, part of one of the greatest soundtracks of all time, I feel, in The Queen of the Damned. I wanted to ask you, Tony, what is sort of your recollection of back in the day when that came out and john davis like approaching wayne to be a part of that soundtrack oh yeah dude that was an awesome opportunity um for for both wayne and the band you know and for wayne to get to be in the studio one-on-one -on -one with john you know it was a pretty big influence on on his vocal style and uh and you know for the band to be part of a really awesome soundtrack with lots of awesome bands on it um and the awesome the the soundtrack came out awesome i i enjoyed the soundtrack much more than the actual movie <laughs> i didn't think much about the movie yet. <laughs> i think that's what everyone sort of takes on it our tony is no one really rated the movie but they sort of say that the soundtrack one of the best of all time yeah yeah i just you know i just uh, the, the premise is a little far-fetched for me but hey what do i know <laughs> Hey, man. Um, I was going to say, Shadow Zone also, that's approaching 20 years as well. I was wondering, is there any plans for Static X to sort of do a 20 years of Shadow Zone like you guys did with Wisconsin Death Trip? Uh, not really. We haven't really thought about it. I mean, we're still, you know, just, uh, you know, trying to catch up on the 20th anniversary of Machines. So, <laughs> you know, uh, once we get done with that, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Man, uh, tell us about no. Electric Regeneration Volume Two. Is that is this the last um, ever vocals of Wayne that you have, or is there still more? Or yeah, no, the, the, no. This is going to be the last batch. Man, that's crazy. So, 
Uh, can you let us know any more about this? Is this like, as far as the Wayne vocals went, what sort of era in time was this from? Um, some of the stuff um, um, was from some of the last demos here recorded. And then other stuff, uh, we're really not sure. Um, our best guess is it was recorded sometime between Shadow Zone and Start a War. Oh, cool. But, you know, that, that's, you know, a couple of years' time there. So. Yeah. yeah so how did you sort of come across this, Tony? It's, it's yeah, we just just found uh, – well, the, the last demos um, that I got were – from a producer friend of ours uh, yeah. that Wayne had been working with. Um, and so he it gave him the May. Uh, and then the, the other stuff is just, uh, you know, digging around and, um, you know, looking for material in, uh, you know, several different spots, warehouses, you know, people that had stuff. And um, yeah, we just came across all, all these all these old tapes. That's crazy, and I remember last time I spoke to you, you said it was like a full process putting it all together for the first version. I assume it's much the same for this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know, some of the stuff that's on volume two was part of that initial discovery. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice, man. And and terrible lies, an awesome song to kick things off with. Love the video for it as well. Uh, any more videos coming off this this new album? Yeah, we got some stuff in the works. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, any sort of idea of when that might come out, Tony? Uh, I, I do, but I, I don't want to say and promise something and then not be able to deliver. <laughs> you know, it's um, uh, you know, uh, when uh, we had to delay volume one, um, you know, it was, um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to make, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to piss people off. So. <laughs> Yeah, best to, best to definitely play it safe, man. Yeah. Oh, so you may have not even looked into it this much yet, Tony, but what's the future of Static X once these recordings are out? Are you going to look into new material with Zero? Um, it's a possibility. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's really up to the fans, you know. If, if the fans want us to keep making more music and keep playing shows, you know, we, 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 we're certainly all – you know, enjoying our time playing together, and uh, you know, um, if the fans want it, we'll we'll, we'll be there. You know. Yeah, man. Well, that's definitely something that I would most definitely like to see. And I was sort of digging around a little bit on you, Tony, a little bit off guard. I had no idea, man. You're a computer science major, is that right? Uh, I went to college at for that but i never got my degree because i ran out of money <laughs> <laughs> it happens yeah <laughs> so like what's the i was wondering is there any sort of other sort of surprising facts like that tony that might spin your fans out to find out about you because i was like wow taken aback by that one yeah i mean i'm a, a i'm I'm a, a geek cleverly disguised as a uh, heavy metal musician, so. <laughs> what sort of geeky stuff are you into? Well, you know, like I, I, I build my own computers for fun, you know, put it that way. <laughs> oh, man, man, that's very cool right there. I like that, Tony, man. Nice. So is that something you probably would have been doing if you didn't take this sort of the metal route? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I've always been into, like, uh, video games and uh, you know when I was a kid I, you know I, I had like some of the consoles but I always wanted a, a PC to game on and you know, just, uh, parents could never afford that um, so when I was able to I finally making some money I'm like cool I'm gonna build my own PC <laughs> I just never never stopped you know Oh, I love that right there, man. That's cool. All right, I want to get to know you a little bit more before we let you go, Tony. What's a, what's kind of like the last cool movie or something like that that you saw? What sort of movies and, and things do you get into? The the last movie I saw um, went to the theater was this last summer, and uh, it, was, it was the new Top Gun movie. Oh, you enjoyed that, man? I still haven't seen it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's actually really good. Uh, I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking as far as story-wise. I mean, they stole the, the plot 
for the mission straight out of Star Wars, <laughs> in, in, including the uh, you know the the fighter run down the the, the alley to, to shoot the little target down the corridor. Yeah, but it but the movie was very entertaining. Okay. It seems to be like they're sort of running out of ideas these days, so it doesn't surprise me. That yeah, you yeah, no, at least they, they did it good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I, I also noticed you're a part of a whole bunch of different groups and that sort of thing, Tony. Outside of Static X and Fear Factory, uh, is there any updates on any of the side projects? Or are you just sort of concentrating on that for now? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the only other thing um, I, I'd have going right now would be Asasino, and that's that side project I've been doing with Dino yeah. for just over 20 years now uh but you know deals in full fear factory mode so we'll we'll be you know doing a lot of that i actually have uh quite a few dates with them uh in the spring and summer uh fear oh. factory dates uh in south america so yeah yeah i was listening yeah. to that it's it's not actually, it's like almost 10 years old now yeah it must be due for some new stuff Wh which album the Asino one it was like two oh Asino oh yeah no, yeah the the second record yeah it, <laughs> yeah it's been a while um, yeah we keep saying we're gonna do a record but then we get busy with stuff you know and, and that's you on vocals yeah but yeah yeah that's me doing yeah, doing the majority of the vocals on it yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's a good time it's fun yeah it is and I, I was totally new to it I was doing a bit of like I've grown up on Static X Fear Factory all that stuff and I had no idea that band was even out there until yesterday. So it's, it's been yeah, really discovering, man. Really, really cool. All right, man. So we've got Project Regeneration Volume 2 heading out on November the 3rd. You can pick up pre-orders for that one right now through staticx.com. You're heading to Australia in May. You've been here multiple yeah. times. What's something you have to do when you get out to Australia? Uh... What's something I have to do? Um, I mean, what isn't there to do out there, man? <laughs> you know? um, um, get, a, get a get a get a get a good kebab for one. <laughs> you don't really, you don't really find those out here, you know? Really? Down in, out, out in the states, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's not not a not a very common thing to get a get a kebab out in the states so yeah i definitely definitely hit a kebab stand <laughs> nice man i might have to have one tonight for dinner just in yeah. uh, just right for you so the tour dates here tony uh, friday 19th of may at northgate theater in melbourne saturday the 20th at the metro in sydney and sunday the 21st at eden hills in brisbane you of course are coming out with soil it's going to be a very big one you can pick up tickets for that one too at static x dot org static dash x of course dot org be yeah. sure to check these guys out it is static x heading our way with soil in may tony thank you so much for taking time out man appreciate yeah, it thanks, thanks for having me man appreciate it